establishing a currency for BRICS nations, lessen our dependence on the US dollar, strengthen our economies. After all, we are now suffering with a weakened rand to dollar rate. That means another fuel price hike is likely on the cards next month. Let's speak now to Professor William Gourmede of the Bits School of Governance. Prof, thanks so much for joining us. I know that you've been uh, focusing on, on this issue of a BRICS currency and what's called a de-dollarization. And I want to get into that in just a moment. But just in general, as a, as a philosophy, BRICS countries um, are united, I think, uh, in part by their desire to boost development uh, in, in countries that are growing, but also lessen their dependence on Western nations, which, and as we heard this in the president's speech last night, a sense that the balance is just skewed too much towards those Western countries. Do you think that that, in principle, is a good philosophy? Um, yes, yeah, um, thank you for having me um, with you in the discussion. I mean, I, I just came out of, uh, I just gave a webinar at the Inclusive Society Institute um, on the BRICS, um, the BRICS summit. Um, you know, importantly, um, the world, you know, the global economy, global trade rules, global political rules, global cultural uh, rules are unequal. Um, and, you, you, you know, um, developing countries have less say, um, international and global institutions, and also, um, you know, um, global markets, um, and also global culture, and even in global ideas. So it is important that developing countries form groupings to try to change that, you know, to rebalance um, the world, you know, the markets, uh, make it more fairer, make trade more fairer, and may, you know, make global institutions more equal, like you know, the World Bank, and um, give developing countries much more decision-making, and the same with the United Nations. So BRICS um, is one of those developing country institutions that wants to do that. All right, let's talk about uh, the subject of your webinar, and I understand it was focusing on talk of a BRICS currency. I would imagine then this would be something like the euro. Is this a serious issue that's being debated? Is this something that is strongly being considered? Um, yes, you know, so there are three key things just uh, at a BRICS summit that, that makes this BRICS meeting um, so different from previously and how it has really focused the world, both in the de developing world, but also industrial world, has really focused on this big summit in ways they haven't done before. Firstly, is for the first time, BRICS countries may increase their, um, um, their membership. You know, they, they may um, invite new members. Um, so that is the biggest um, change since South Africa uh, joined the group. Um, secondly, what will be happening is the proposal potentially of creating um, a BRICS common currency. So a, a currency that, um, um, that will be common to the BRICS countries. And thirdly, um, the discussion on what to do with BRICS institutions. Um, um, well, one critical institution is, is BRICS um, Development Bank. Um, how do they, um, in, you, you know, um, increase the presence of their bank because their uh, bank, the development bank, was set up to rival uh, some of the, the Western dominated global um, developmental institutions like the World Bank and so on, but the bank hasn't been able to do that. So let me come back um, to um, the, the, the idea of coming, uh, creating a common uh, currency. Now, practicality, obviously, is a good proposal. In practical terms, it is not really a, 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 a proposal that can be implemented um, easily uh, or immediately. Um, it's much more of a long-term project. I see. Yeah, and it's, it strikes me, I mean, you know, it's a nice idea, um, but I'm not sure if that should be a priority uh, and if it would have any specific advantages. Um, talk to me about this other catchphrase, de-dollarization. You also spoke about that. Is that the concept of sort of unpegging us from the dollar or is it a totally different concept? Um, you know, right now, so um, what we call in economic terms a global reserve currency um, is the U.S. dollar. So, you know, that's a currency um, that most of the world use, for example, you know, in country straight, um, they use um, the U.S. Um, dollar, whether it is com commodity trade or whether the, it is um, oil trade. Now, the problem with the U.S. dollar right now is that 
Um, because it's a global currency, when um, the U.S. central bank, for example, um, um, changed its monetary policy to deal with U.S. Dom domestic economic problems, um, it, um, it has a spillover um, across the world. Uh, what do I mean by sp uh, spillover? For example, um, it impacts, uh, you know, mo because most of our commodities um, that are produced by the developing world, uh, you know, the sales and the, uh, are traded in the U.S. dollar. So if there's a change in domestic monetary policy in the U.S., it impacts um, on, for example, commodity prices in the developing world, in Africa, you, you know, um, and, and then it impacts negatively uh, uh, um, on the, um, the economies. So what the U.S. should have done and, and what the U.S. still should do is rather coordinate its monetary policy with the rest of the world because it impacts so much, you, you know, on other economies outside it, and that makes it um, unfair. So even let's bring it to the BRICS countries. So when the BRICS countries, when they trade with each other, they trade using the U.S. dollar. So what it means, it increases the cost of trading. So, you know, it's almost like, say, for example, South Africa trade um, with China, the U.S. dollar is U.S., and it's almost like, you know, extra costs um, um, in it. And, and that is when, um, you know, when people talk about de-dollarization, the idea is, can, for example, um, US, the use of the U.S. dollar be lessened? Um, can countries find other ways um, um, to trade, for example, I mean, one of the things that the BRICS countries can do, they can trade in their own um, domestic currencies. For example, South Africa could, for example, use the RAND in its trades um, with China, and China use its domestic currency to trade with South Africa. Now, it doesn't, it, it's not happening currently um, in the BRICS economies. If, I mean, at the beginning of the year, um, Brazil and China for the first time agreed that they will use each other's uh, currencies in the trade with each other. So now you can imagine BRICS has been there for a very long time, but only this year, for example, um, Brazil and India decided to use their own currencies to trade with each other. Very interesting discussions, and I'm sure we'll hear more uh, about uh, these issues. Professor William Gomede of the Witt School of Governance talking to us about some of the key issues that are being discussed, that will be discussed in the next couple of days here at the BRICS Summit, but of course,